Wow. Uh, my That's favorite a... bedtime story. Um... The only thing I ever read to my boy now nowadays is what's Light, Light Ming the Queen. Lightning McQueen. No, Light Lightning McQueen. Oh, yeah. Because there was a story called. Have you ever story heard heard, heard the story of Telani? Telani. I'll, yeah. I'll tell it to you later on. Okay. But listen, when I hear about like Witsi, Lefelo, Tanzuwe, Kodi Koning, Manuah, Wotsa Majita, Wotsa Leba, and Baba Nang Modi Blokun Zero, so none of that like Kaha Woodstock. So we asked a guy called Kane Lingerfeld. Absolutely. Now Kane Lingerfeld, he doesn't only skate for a living, but he also makes the most beautiful handcrafted longboards. Okay, so he's a very very talented yeah. guy. So he takes us on a guided tour of Woodstock and also the City Bowl, and we check out some of his favorite places to hang out at. Hi, my name is Ken Lingerfeld. I run a company called Alpha Longboots based out of Woodstock, Cape Town. Come join me as I take you to some of my favorite spots in and around the city center. I'm a creature of habit, so yeah, let's do it. I really dig the Lux because I've been going to their first coffee shops when they opened up many years ago. And the coffee's really good. They're consistent with their grind. I know a lot of the staff here, we all kind of hang out. There's a lot of them skate, so it's cool. We listen to the same music. Like they know exactly what I drink and like how I like it. So like, you know, like in the morning you wake up and you don't talk much and you just go, and they know, and that's right. Yeah, and I mean, music for me was, I remember a story when I was about 12. I mean, because obviously growing up with music, like my parents loved music. Um, and back then it was like a lot of vinyl. And I remember when I was like 12, 13, I told my mom, I don't want anything else. You know, I don't want a car, I don't want a house. I just want your vinyl collection. And yeah, so that's kind of formed the basis of my love for, for vinyl, which is pretty cool. And that's why I love coming to this spot, you know, like this spot is still, like to me, like it's a traditional music store, you know. It's not overly digitized. You can still come and you can listen. You speak to the people at the counter and they all know what they're talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of the place where I come, chill, hang out. You can get lost here for like two or three hours, listen to vinyl. I always go straight to the jazz first. Jazz is the thing. It's kind of the vibe. <laughs> so I started skating in 94, but mainly street skateboarding. And then the first race came around in 1999. And at that point, we were bombing downhills on short street boards. And then after that race, because there were some European and international guys that came over with their longer boards and obviously beat us. And then I was like, well, how do I get faster? Um, what do I need? And part of it was a bigger board. So then I just went and bought a cheap piece of plywood, shaped, like cut out a board out of a shape I saw. And then that was kind of the beginning. And then just kind of working on, on making concaves and fiberglass and all, on, on all those things, which has gotten me to this point now. Yeah, and then at that point, I just wanted to figure out how I could skate every day and make some sort of money from skateboarding. And making boards kind of fitted well into that, which is rad. And now I'm here, 16 years later, still shaping boards, which is cool. I'm stopped. 